Welcome back, guys. It is we, day. It's day eight. It's day eight. You that's an eight. Oh, that's an eight. I thought she was doing a five and a four. I'm like, that's nine. This is an eight. That's nine. It's eight. It's, it's eight. eight. We're going right. to move your body. We're yes. Going to bend. Mobility. And snap. Day. Um, yeah, so remember from, this is our first mobility. No, second mobility yeah, second of mobility. this month. So you've done one of these. So you will remember that we're doing one minute of one movement and then right continuously moving on to the next movement. So, no break. so one minute movements at a time, we're dynamic gonna flow. We're going to flow. We're going to flow. Dynamic movement. Okay. So you need a mat or like a nice comfy floor and, and a person. core core band yeah core band and if you have it your pink thing mm -hmm. but if you don't have it the exercise that we're using it for today or the stretch or the movement that we're moving it using it for today can be done without it it's just a nice little added okay hundo so you ready to bend go. and snap speaking <laughs> of bending and snapping that's our first one. i feel like i need ah. to get to my mind like <laughs> okay so we're not going to warm up because this is all about movement it's all about limbering up it's all about mobility so we're just going to get right into it okay so our very first movement we're going to stand with our feet firmly rooted into the ground nice big inhale to take the arms up as you exhale hinge folding at the hips let your arms come down crisscross them at the bottom big inhale up so i'm standing with my feet just a little bit Closer than hip distance apart. You can stand with your feet at hip distance apart. Whatever gives you the most for your movement here. Just try not to have it too far out to the side. And think of reaching your glutes to the back wall. Feeling a nice stretch up the back of your body. And you should start to ease into that forward bend the more you do. Yeah, folding a little bit more each time. And, and don't rush it. Don't rush it. We have it. good tempo don't here. Rush. I Slow feel like touch. I like to hang at the hang bottom down. for a second. Yeah. Shake out those sillies at the bottom. Create a little bit more space through the vertebrae of your spine. Big inhale. Roll we that got another four up. seconds. So one more. We're going to stay at the top. Arms up. Now we're going to do some dynamic crescent moons. So we're going to spread those feet out just a little bit. Bending over to that right side, using those obliques, coming back up to standing. So we're alternating here, going How good right does this feel? and going left. Those arms are right beside the ears. And you will see that you might have more mobility. I feel like I can drop way further on that right side than on the left. This Whoa. is a great place to focus on our breath work, right? Let your inhale bend you and your exhale pull you back to the midline. Try and get some nice deep breaths in. Never holding your breath. It's so tempting sometimes to hold. Oh my gosh, I feel One like more. I start out every movement like that. <laughs> and then I have to remember, like, you know. Okay, take your arms down. We're going to take all of the weight into your left leg. And then we're going to bring the right ankle onto the left thigh. Now from here, we're going to send our glutes back, trying to sit into a chair. If you need help with this one, you can grab your challenger bar or the back of a chair, feeling the stretch through the glutes. Push into your supporting leg to come up before switching to the other side. Okay, if you want to stay longer on each side, we have a full minute here. So you can stay in the pose for 30 seconds before alternating to the other side. This is my weak knee. <laughs> or you can stay in the pose for only five or, or six seconds before shifting over to the other side. Feel you free to put your hands out in foot? front. Try and balance out that <laughs> center of gravity as you come down. And really grip that foot and those toes into the ground. Get as much stability with that grip as you can. Last one. So that little chocolate chip under my foot, I call it a chocolate chip. I told my kids it was a squish bug when they were little and they would try to like wipe it off for me. <laughs> Widen that stance a bit further than <laughs> shoulder width apart. We're gonna make a T with those arms. Coming down across the body, touching that right hand to left toe. Back up. Gaze should be following that hand at the top. Completing the rotation. This lights up that entire posterior chain. I love it. Big rotation through the thoracic. Be intentional on the way up. Full stance. Feel that pull from the top of the head. I'm going to come back with you. 
feels so good. Reach to the outside of the foot if you can. Extend the reach, extend the stretch as you warm up. Ooh, one more. Last one. Okay, we're gonna come all the way up to standing. Walk your way to the back of your mat. And then I want you to think of nodding your chin in towards the chest. We're gonna slowly roll all the way down. Let the weight of your head pull down your thoracic, pull down your lower lumbar. And we start walking our hands all the way out to our high plank. Okay, from here, push into the palms as we make our way all the way back towards our toes. Think of sending your glutes up and back. From the back of that movement, dig into the heels, roll all the way up. Head, neck, shoulders come up last. Okay, again, all the way down. We're really articulating through the spine, feeling movement perhaps in areas of the spine that are typically sort of fused or stiff. And then we're gonna come back. That's the best part for me. Right? I like that sensation, that undulation through the spine. Oh. Okay. That's it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so we're going to go back down. So we can use that same articulation to come down. We're going to walk out into the plank. Then we're going to do a downward dog. So bringing that head in between the shoulders. See, we're lifted off our heels a bit up on the toes. And we're going to tap back. Right hand to left foot again, pushing off that forward stable hand. Keep a nice long line, a slight bend in the knees. Hips are nice and high. I love this one. Really think of rooting down through the mound of each finger. Think of pushing your entire index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger into the ground, the mound of the thumb. Almost there. One more. All right, then go ahead and drop down to your knees. So now we're gonna be in hands and knees. I want you to listen carefully to this one, okay? Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. We're gonna take that right knee, draw it in towards the chest, point your toe as you extend it long. Drop your heels towards your bum and let the weight of your heel open your knee, open your hips to the side wall until your arm follows all the way up towards the sky. Take an inhale here, exhale, return that arm to the ground, core pulls you back to center, bringing your knee down, last to hit the ground. Okay, opposite side, draw that left knee in towards the chest, point your toe, exhale it all the way up, drop your heel towards your bum, let that weight open you up. <sighs> left hand points up towards the ceiling, open that heart. So again, hand comes down, use your core, pull you back to center, Heel to bum, knee to ground. Do okay. we have time for one more? No. No, we don't. I know it felt so good and we don't have time for we one more. We need to add more. those in again. <laughs> I know. We need to do two of those. All right. So now we're going to go down into a three-legged leg, three -legged plank. So we're going to come here, bring that knee in, same thing, so nice and wide with that grip in the hands. Hands, wrist right below shoulders, bringing that knee in, pointing at the top. Woo, that feels Woo. so good. We're going to stay on this side. So round it out as you bring the knee up towards the chest. Full extension, something's pulling that toe. Draw that back, oh, so that good. body back. Notice our extended position. That head is coming through the shoulders. Nice point in the toe. Last one. Okay. I'm gonna switch We're just taking sides. it over to the other side. If your hands have moved throughout that transition, place them back below your shoulders. Okay. And then we're pointing that left toe this time. Bend your knees. You draw it in towards your chest, rounding the crown down towards the knees. Big exhale as we extend that leg up and back. Are we going? We're going. We're going. Knee in towards the chest. Big exhale up and back. Inhale and exhale. There's always so much of my hair on the mat. <laughs> it is wild. I found it in my bra today. You found it in your bra? Well, there's yeah. been worse places. Pardon? 
<laughs> it's been found in worse places. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> Inhale. Big exhale. Remember to push into those hands. So you're starting to feel this a bit in that upper body probably. Last one. All right. D hair. Okay. All right. Dynamic lateral lunge. So we're gonna come long ways on our mat. We're gonna face each other. Nice wide stance. Now we're gonna work on those adductors. So lunging, feeling, feel free to come right down to the ground. Keeping those hands on the ground, up on the heels, on that one stretched out side. Just keep moving. So what tends to happen to me here, and I want you guys to make sure it doesn't happen to you, is I tend to push down on the inner arch of my foot. No flat feet. Keep pulling up on that arch. You want to oh. try and push the hips back a bit to fall deeper into the stretch. Once you're here, moving that stretch line from the inside of your thigh, a little bit underneath the leg. And let's take it down, back to hands and knees. This is one of my favorite, cat and cow. Which one are you? Okay, hands <laughs> below the shoulders, knees below your hips. Start by pushing into the palms. Think of rounding your back up towards the sky. Let your head hang down, shake your head up. Take a nice big inhale. Let your gaze come forward, still pushing into the palms, but let your belly drop. Think of flaring your sit bones behind you. Inhale, push into your palms, head drop, backs comes up to the sky. The back of your body, your shoulder blades are moving away from each other. Nice big inhale. Sink your heart, take your gaze forward. Flare those sit bones. Try and release the stress in the shoulders. I feel like people tend to, or I definitely tend to hold stress when I'm in this position. Oh yeah. I can't tell you how much I needed this. Mobility day? This relaxation, <laughs> this relaxation, it's amazing. All right, so we're gonna go into some chest stretches. So we're gonna come down to knees. We're gonna extend this one hand down, out to the side, sorry, and we're gonna rotate. So looking in the opposite direction, we're opening up that chest. You should feel it right away. A nice light pull, then come back up to all fours, twisting that arm. You can always push the opposite arm away from the ground to give you even more range. And up. Just holding for about three or four seconds. Can change the angle. Feel that nice rotation through the thoracic as well. So if you have any lower back issues, obviously be mindful of those in your range of motion. Okay, so next we're gonna do a puppy pose to a cobra stretch. Okay, so puppy pose is all four. We're just hinging back. Think of sending the weight over the heel. And then we're diving forward. Keep your chest low as we come all the way through to a cobra. For the cobra, think of reaching the chest forward more than compressing through the back. Now, send your glutes back, lead with the back, right into that puppy pose, big inhale. Exhale, push your weight forward, push into the palms, chest forward, then up. So there's lots of length in the lower back rather than thinking of compressing. Inhale, let your breath move you. Big exhale, chest stays low, chest stays low. You want to push through those palms. Make sure the shoulders aren't up around your ears. <sighs> Depress those shoulders. Drop it back. Again, think fluidity. Ooh. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to stay seated. 90-90. So you might know this position by now. We're going to do forward bends in this position and then rotate. So get in that hip mobility oh. action and then forward bend in the back side. So here we go. Bending forward. You might feel a nice glute stretch or a pull from the hip a little bit. Just make sure there's no pain. Come up out of that. Staying in this position. We just want to mirror yeah. what we're doing. So nice and slow. We still want 90 degrees in the back, 90 degrees in the front. 
and forward bend. Got like 45 going. <laughs> I find my 90. Push into those heels. Try not to walk forward. It does happen. Right? It's, it's hard not to. It happens. Ooh. Okay. So chest up. We're going to extend one leg away from us. Pull the opposite heel in towards the groin. Really need to moisturize my toes. <laughs> okay. No close-ups. And then we're going to take a nice big inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold towards that extended leg. Inhale. Exhale, come on up. Reach back. Pushing through that hand. Pushing through the hip flexors. Come on up. And down. We're going to stay on this side. Big inhale. Up and over. And if you don't have this range of motion and you can only get to your knee, that's okay. Just slowly work your way. Oh, we get to do the wrist thing here. Did you do it? <laughs> I, did, I don't know. Wrist. Does feel very elegant, this move. Yes. <laughs> feel like a dancer. Twist. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. We get to do the other side. <laughs> we can perfect this shit. <laughs> perfect it. Okay. Now, I have way less range of motion on this side of my body, and you will we'll see it. Inhale. So the idea is to have this leg out in line with hip, if possible. If not, that's okay. Goals, goals. And ta-da! Inhale. Oh, I love that stretch. Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you roll I saw the you wrist? do it, and then I was like, oh, yeah. Did you roll the wrist, darling? <laughs> Plant that hand. Twist that wrist. So reach back. Oh! I feel a nice, a nice lat can stretch do there. Let's, do one, Let's do one more. It's our show. We can do what we want. Let's it's a keep Tammy going. and Jesse show. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, we're going to come all the way down to the ground onto our backs. You can either have your left leg bent or fully extended as we extend that right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Okay, from here, I want you to rotate your foot so that the outside edge of your foot is pointing up towards the ceiling. If you have the pink thing, you can use it to help you here. But you want to feel that stretch all the way up the lateral aspect through the IT band and release flat foot, then come back. Okay. You, you have the pink thing, yeah? We, we, need, we need a pedicure day, please. <laughs> and whenever I have, I'm like really getting up close and personal with my feet here, and I'm not like, I want to know how these people that I see like online, how are they getting pedicures and manicures done? They're probably getting them done to their house, to come to their house. Oh, it's not allowed, is it? I don't know what's allowed anymore. Other side. I I'm going to show you guys with the band. I tell my daughter all the time that she's in charge of herself, you know, that no one else can tell her really what to do. The decision's ultimately hers. And then I let everyone tell me what can and can't be done. What do you mean? Like well, COVID like, restrictions? How you said, is that allowed? I mean, like, there's, I, I agree with the restrictions, but some of them are a bit crazy. Crazy. It's in hard to know what's opinion. right, for sure. Oh, that feels so delicious. So I've discovered you can use the core band also. This is something that I feel like we never do. Never. We as the collective, we never think about properly. Unless like your physiotherapist tells you to do it or someone actively says, do the stretch. We don't think about doing it. Mm -hmm. But Now make so sure your, your toe is not below your heel. You want to keep that foot flat like Tammy said. That's when you're going to get that nice stretch through the side. All right, All right what what's next? next? How are we almost at the end? Okay, so we're going to stay lying down. This is a piriformis stretch. So we're going to be back. We're going to cross. So on your back, pushing through those, um, through that core, trying not to round the back too much. We're going to cross that ankle over the left knee. So right ankle over left knee. We're going to weave the hands through that hole that you've made and then the outside. And we're going to try and keep this knee out. At the same time, pulling 
that pretzel towards your body. <laughs> and if you can't bind your knee, you can always grab the back of your thighs. But if you can get that knee, go ahead and grab for it and then melt your sit bones right back down to the ground. Keep the folded foot, the ankle of the folded foot flex. So a nice big flexion through that ankle and pushing that knee away like Jess said. Ooh, okay, other side. Okay. So easy way to get into this. Again, we're just gonna cross our ankles like we're crossing our legs. Keep that ankle flexed and weave through, either binding behind your thighs or on your shin. Then do your check. Is my ankle flexed? Is my knee coming in towards my chest? And is my sit bone melted down to the ground? Last check, shoulders down and back. And breathe. Just feel that heavenly stretch through the bum. We only have one more movement. How is this possible? It's gone too fast. I know. Maybe we can just do it again. <laughs> From the top. Second verse, same as the first. We're here for another 10 seconds. So feel free, free to release it if you need to. I don't need to. No, me either. I don't want to. Oh, that feels so delicious. Still a good sheer pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever thought you were on my face. I thought you were really like close up on, on my knees. Oh. My All right, guys, goodness. we're gonna move into the quad stretch, the last one. So this is a combo. We're gonna double up our mats just because it's a bit hard on the knees, so feel free to do that at home. We're gonna have that, that right knee on the ground, that left foot planted out in front, 90 degree angle, of course. We're gonna reach back with that opposite hand, so my left hand to my right foot that's back. We're gonna feel that quad stretch, and then we're gonna tip over as best you can. Feel free to move this foot out if you need more of a base. And then we're gonna move to the, we're gonna stay here, release that, and just come back into it. It's a pretty deep stretch. You can stay here if you want to. Woo! So finish the quad stretch. I tried to do it both at the same time. If the rotation Ooh, is enough, you can just, if the rotation is too much rather, you can just stay in this deep quad stretch. It's a lot as it is, okay? Switch it up. Feels so good though. Okay, another quick tip. You wanna keep sending your hips forward, okay? So right foot forward this time, 90 degree angle. Hips are glued, sorry, not glued, are sending forward. And then we wanna bend your knee, go ahead and reach for that knee. Heel, toes, what are the words? Heel. What are the words and why aren't they working? Why are the words not working? Okay, reach across your body. Is it the words? The words. I called my toe, my knee, then my heel. I go, breathe. It's like all of the energy in my body is going towards um, the movement. And I'm so relaxed from that figure four stretch that I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> so drawing that heel to the butt, reaching over, stabilize, stabilize, and come out. Woo! All right, guys, we have a finisher today. It's all about core. Yes. I know, I'm excited. I, I secretly have to admit that the core finishers are my favorite. Yeah. Like, they are my favorite. Mm -hmm. Favorite. Favorite.